So today we're gonna to be looking at those places that you can stay at around Zion National Park in Utah. How's it going? Welcome to the Campendium YouTube channel where it's our hope and our goal to provide you with the resources and the information to get out there and camp. That's why Campendium was created. Uh, there's the website and the mobile app so that there's a place and a resource to go to to find the places that you want to go to to camp and uh, be able to learn from other people, be able to read reviews, see pictures, get all, all the information before you get there. So today we're gonna to be looking at those places that you can stay at around Zion National Park in Utah. Uh, kind of a, a funny story, when we first got our RV, we thought we'd go to Zion and we didn't know anything. We didn't know where to stay, we didn't do any research, we didn't have any resources, we didn't have Campendium. So we ended up spending our first night on the side of the road because everything that we knew of was full in, in Zion National Park area. And so we just ended up on the side of the highway. Fun memories, but I do not want to do that for every RV trip that we go on. So that's why Campendium's a good resource. So let's look at some of these places to stay and uh, look at some of these reviews of what people have said about it and the pictures they have taken. So let's start by looking at the areas you can stay near the south entrance. And first on our list is Virgin Dam. Now this is some great BLM camping. Uh, one review says it's pretty cool camping alongside a cliff that overlooks the Virgin River. Everywhere you look is a sight to see and not to mention the stars are absolutely beautiful at night. Continents Collide said this place was perfect. Tons of open space with beautiful views of the canyons out every window of our Airstream. Completely peaceful and quiet. It took about 35 to 40 minutes to get into the national park. Town is about 15 minutes away and has everything you need. Now, if you don't have a big rig and you need some cell service, then Leeds Canyon might be just what you need. Some reviews said they loved the Red Rocks and there are some nice hikes in the area by these great designated campsites. This definitely looks like a beautiful area. Next on our list is Sheep Bridge Road. Some of the reviews said Sheep Bridge Road was easy to find off of Highway 9 and we had some spectacular views during sunrise and sunset. Other people said, if you want to stay clear of the bike race staging area and you should have no noise issues and a cleaner experience. So those are a few options that you have on the south entrance. Let's move over to the east entrance. So uh, first one on our list is Old Highway 89. Here are a few of the titles from the review that kind of says it all. Good views, easy access off of 89, surprisingly nice boondocking just off of US 89. Fast internet, great views. And the last one just says simply fantastic. That brings us to next on our list of Twin Hollows. Some of the reviews say this spot is perfect along the creek and right outside of Zion National Park. Kirk recommends to visit the belly of the Dragon Cave, which is about a quarter of the mile from the turnoff. Easy to miss, but very cool. There's a few more in this area. There's Yellow Jacket Springs. And if you don't mind the sand, there's Yellow Jacket Canyon and a place called Meadows on BLM land. Now, if you have some good ground clearance on your rig, then Smithsonian Butte might be a place you wanna check out. Some of the reviews said, for us, it was a fun challenge and incredible views as a reward in the morning. Will said it was quiet and there was views for days. Top notch free camping. Well, I hope this was a handful of places that will just wet your whistle and you can dive in there and see the rest of the article, see more places to camp nearby. If you want to see the rest of the article, uh, you can check the link down in the description. Uh, so remember, as always, to keep exploring, to travel safe, and uh, we will see you next time.